The goal of this video is to do one thing, put so-called global warming into perspective. While there are various reasons to believe that the amount of warming we are said to have seen on Earth is actually not this high due to spurious data points and urban heat island effects, let's play devil's advocate. Let's just go ahead and give them their cake. Let's call it two degrees of warming over the last 150 years. It's actually more like 180 to 200, but let's just give them that one as well. I have previously said that this is nothing compared to the 1500-year cycle, the dansgaard oeschger events, which brought multi-degree changes of 5 to 8 degrees in sometimes as little as 40 years. This was not disputed. But I've had several squabbles with professional geophysicists recently who tried to say that this didn't count because it was a Greenland event, which doesn't make sense since they tell us all the time how much Arctic warming is going to change the entire planet now. But recently, we have seen several papers counter their argument, and that's being kind. With proof of these 1,500-year events, great impact at mid-latitudes, up to a 10-degree shift in a decade or two. That's a major change. We've seen the Greenland studies taking that shift up to 16 degrees over the same time, and now it's starting to get laughable. This is clearly not a subtle shift, and it happens rapidly. And then this past week, we saw the story about global impacts even into the tropical regions of these events. And we are left with no choice but to recognize the global nature of these climate shifts and compare what they scare us with on the news to actual geophysical reality. Two degrees of warming over a century and a half compared with up to 16 degrees in a decade or two with global impacts. The perspective I want to convey is that modern warming is nothing by comparison to what has been seen. dansgaard oeschger events have been traced back to the Jurassic period, and they dwarf modern warming. We're still getting them now. And they do this dwarfing of modern warming in a fraction of the time. This is not even a comparison. It's a joke. A political one used to grab control, guide policy for their financial gain, and to scare the heck out of us. The warming we have seen is not only minuscule, but record cold and snow are still happening. The data may not even actually show two degrees of warming, and when Earth has lost a considerable amount of its magnetic field protection from solar and cosmic energy over that same time period, there's no reason to put all the blame on us. There's no reason to be afraid of the global warming story they tell us, and no reason not to reconcile these new studies to fortify the premise that modern warming is no reason to jerk the wheel of our society in ways that will cripple our economy and steal our freedoms. The Earth's magnetic pole shift and weakening magnetic field, now that's another story. But that's not our fault and is a story for another day. But if you can't wait for another day, take a peek at the video playlist listed below in the description box, and I'll see you in the morning for the daily show. Be safe, everyone.